Welcome to AP Psychology in Under 3 Minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Yep, that's right, we're doing psychology this year, no joke. So let's start with a basic definition of psychology. The study of the mind and behavior. Essentially, psychology tries to answer one question. What causes our brain to act a certain way? If you were wondering, there's infinite answers to this question, and a lot of answers that haven't even been found out yet. Essentially, the answer to this question boils down to two things, nature versus nurture. Nature refers to the genetic and biological traits you are born with. Things like DNA, brain chemistry, and inherited tendencies that influence one's physical, behavioral, and mental traits and processes. Nurture, or environmental factors, refers to all the external factors that one experiences throughout life, such as their education, culture, or their family. So the question here is which one of these has a bigger effect on someone's personality, behavior, or mental state? The answer is... I don't know. There are many different approaches to psychology that all have their own answer to this question. For example, if we look at the evolutionary perspective championed by Charles Darwin, it explores natural selection's effect on someone's behavior or mental processes. Of course, natural selection is the evolutionary principle that animals and organisms that are more adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and pass on the genes that aided their successes to future generations. The issue here is when you start applying natural selection to society and it turns from Darwinism to social Darwinism. This is where it becomes easy to discriminate against others that have more, quote-unquote, less favorable characteristics. Eugenics is a prime example of this. This is an ideology that's primary purpose is to only make the people that had the most, quote-unquote, desirable characteristics have sex so that their kids would have the most desirable characteristics and improve the human race. And in case you're wondering, this was used as a justification in World War II by the Nazis to discriminate against Jews, and, in the future, eugenics as a whole was discredited as unscientific. So we just saw an example of how an approach of psychology views nature versus nurture. But before I go, I have to credit probably the best studies on the nature side of things. That, of course, is twin studies, such as the Minnesota Twin Study, that found that identical twins that are raised in two separate environments still show significant similarities in personality and intelligence. This supports the role of genetic influences on behavioral and mental processes. This question is one that has many answers. Hopefully, by the end of this course, you will have your own answers for it. However, for now, here's some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.